Sitting out in the wood shop today, drawing a pipe of Stucky B's uh, twist plate. I like it. It's pretty good. It's a good day to sell and toss some flies, man. It's just too freaking hot to go fishing. But, uh, the heat, the heat's just, oh, right now. Poor fan, I gave him a, a bucket full of, a uh, cup full of ice. He's munching on his ice trying to stay cool. The South, man, woo, it's different. You know, I watch TV and all the people up North, man, just getting like heat strokes and stuff like that because of that heat wave uh, a couple weeks ago. Imagine, imagine living in that from July to pretty much the end of September here in Louisiana. <laughs> We don't get a break, man. I joined some dude's uh, channel uh, last night. I was watching his videos, uh, older black guy, and I really enjoyed his videos. And, uh, you know, I asked him, uh, nothing to comment. You know, why are you making more videos? He said he went fishing and had a heat stroke and had to go to the hospital. He, I think he li must live somewhere up like North Carolina or someplace like that, but, uh, Bad man, getting crazy. Gotta stay hydrated when you go when you go uh, in the heat. We're used, we're used to it, man. We know here in the south, we know the hydration starts the night before. You're gonna get up, you're gonna go fishing somewhere, and it's gonna be hot like Verrett, something like that, in the open area. You better start drinking water that night before. Even if you got to tinkle a lot, <laughs> you better do it, man. Heat stroke ain't no joke, man. I laugh and, uh, I've been fishing a lot with the average fisherman. I always laugh and joke with him. I was like, well, he, at least when I go fishing now, I'm with a nurse. <laughs> Something happens. <laughs> There's a good chance I'm probably going to make it. and chopping on that ice the jig i'm tying right now is the last couple of videos we've been we found this private private pond that we've been fishing at and uh um we've been doing pretty good with sackley and uh the jig i was catching all them sackley on is just a little the little my version of the bluegill bug fly with uh um a squirrel tail uh olive uh olive chanel uh, micro ch olive small chanel and uh, uh, the regular uh, grizzly hackle, the white and gray. So, easy, easy fly. I got videos showing how to do it, but seem to be very effective. It's exactly like it. Exactly, can be a hard fish to catch. Because they just not everywhere. I was looking back to some old pictures last night from my, my, my uh, Montana trip. I was blessed, blessed, y'all, to go uh, 2018, 2019, and 2020 because my wife's job. But she ain't doing that job no more, so I am probably probably won't never see Montana again. Because I'm just a poor coon ass. This video is probably going to get a copyright infringement because I'm playing music in the background. But I like I like listening to music when I tie flies sometimes, especially when I'm smoking a pipe. And you know, YouTube's pissy. I understand copyright stuff. I, I, I get it. But, uh, you know, that whole... That whole... The whole copyright stuff can blow up in your face. Ask uh, Lars. He'll tell you Lars from Metallica. 
You ever seen the video where Laura's is on there <laughs> crying? <laughs> Very easy lock. I mean, just a matter, it's a few minutes. You got a fly that catches fish. You see them exactly, man. Them exactly like this fly. Because like I said in the video, look at that fly. That fly looks like nothing you can buy at Walmart. They got close, they got close to it, but that looks buggy, man. Look at that, that looks like a bug. But, um, tied these in a few different colors, but, man. I'm ready. Um, I'm ready for the fall. I'm, 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 I'm about done with summertime. There's another one. I saw this fly at Bass Pro, and um, I forgot what they call it. It's that. It's obviously a bee knockoff, but it's a, uh, it's a uh, bee color with white hackle and a red red tail for the butt. So very easy to tie to. And these, I don't put no weight on them. I just let the get, when it gets soaked, it automatically sinks. But the trick is, these flies, I got a couple of flies, I picture, I got a couple videos of me fishing this fly, catching fish at one of the break ponds. When this fly gets wet, it starts sinking, but it sinks about this speed, man. And it, you know, it looks like a bug drowning in the water, but when the blue will come, boom, the bluegills come up and just nail it. So, very good fly. I, um, I'm waiting for cool weather. I bought me a, a one of those uh, XL, um, one of the XL hammocks, the uh, Haven hammocks. I'm excited about it. Really excited about it. I watch them dudes like uh, <laughs> I watch that Nicholas Dirt channel, man. Dude, that dude's hardcore. He goes camping in this heat. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. I um I got uh I got I got a few trips planned. I uh I uh I sell instruments on the side and uh I've been doing pretty good. I've been selling a couple of them on eBay, doing pretty good. And uh I uh make them it looks like I'm gonna make enough little money a year selling that so I can start planning me a trip going up like Arkansas places, you know, places like that. Just when the heat gets better. It's so hot, it's starting to get hot right now. So I can make it toss some flies before it gets too hot in the shed. I'll make one in a, a, a brighter, a brighter color. Chartreuse. I have them. I have them. I have them situations where I go fishing sometime. They don't get a bite on my flies. And people be using a lot of bait, be out fishing me. It happens sometimes. That right there in the background is um, Brian Downing. I think he, I think he passed. I think he passed like last year or something like that. Brian Downing. He was a really good composer. The man can play a flute, unbelievable. He was one of my. Uh, he was probably my second favorite composer next to David Arkenstein. <laughs> Funny thing about David Arkansas, it's a good one. Uh, I uh, I always want to see him live, and uh, 
you know, he, uh, I found out that he was going to the show with Forest Fair and play one time, and I was so excited. Man, I waited months and months and months and months and months, and we got to the fair. It was one of, it was one of them years where the fair was like still, was still like 80 degrees. You know, weird, weird hot for um, February. And uh, my wife, you know, she's all decked out. We always wear guard, right? Decked out guard. And David Arkansas gets up there, man. He starts playing, and I'm like, oh. And he was playing all the music from the uh, World of Warcraft taverns, man. And I was like, oh, man, I'm all into it. He's playing, bro. And the band's going. You know, excited, man. I look over at my wife, and her eyes are almost rolled back in her head, bro. She was so hot. She was about to pass out, but she didn't want to say nothing. So we got up and left, and we got water and all that. And uh, I missed the show, but at least I got to say I saw him live, so that was cool. <laughs> it's winning chart twos. Let's see, look, they, my flies are not the most prettiest flies. They're not. I mean, I don't spin. I'm not one of the guys I don't spend 30 minutes tying one fly to, for, for like nine fish to, to tear it up, you know. I don't, to each his own. I just want mine to work. What are you eating? Stop that. Bruh. Look, Flynn's a rescue dog and, um, you know, the lady, the lady found him in a ditch. Come here. Come here. The lady found him in a ditch, and well, he just won't stop eating. He just won't stop eating stuff on the ground. You got a full belly, brother. I feed you good. You get fed three times a day. You get about four treats a day. You don't need to be eating stuff on the ground, but he still does it. I once read something about dogs. They're either herders or eaters. So Flynn's definitely an eater. Definitely an eater. My last dog, I used to get baby chicks, and uh, yeah, he would sit there and play with them chicks, and play with them, play with them. Uh, I think of some of my videos, he was on there, especially like my cooking in my uh, dwarven forge, my outdoor pizza oven. He was on there. Oh, he was old then, man. It's hard losing a dog, man. Especially a dog that you had your 16 years. It's, it's like, it's like losing a family member. I saw one, one uh, picture one time where it was this picture of this guy in his deathbed, dying in his deathbed. And it was like a blurge between reality, like realms, right? And another realm his his dog was sitting waiting for him on the other side of the rainbow bridge to each his own man you know I don't, when I pass I don't want to live in no I don't want to live in no mansion with gold roads and all that stuff that's not me I want a shack out in the middle of the woods next to a stream full of fish and deer and wildlife yeah, that's heaven to me it's not it's not the promise of gold streets and all that just i'm sure the great one knows what we all want something I don't talk about on my channel is um, politics and religion because um, 
had an old man one time, long time ago when I was working at Sears, old man, old veteran told me one time this this two subjects, the fastest two subjects to piss somebody off is talk about religion and politics. so easy to tie, man. It's just so doggone effective. sweat running down my back so just my metal I got I got this shed insulated man with two 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 layers of insulation sheets and wooden panels and it still gets freaking too hot up in here so that's it for today man